So we are underway for the final of our women's contest here in Cage One, semi final day. We have a women's featherweight contest. Alina Agasheva from Russia taking on Sara Yosviak from Poland. Sara from Poland in the red corner. Spoken to by our very own MC, Mr. Ricky Wright, who had a conversation with her yesterday. She's got, I believe, multiple jiu-jitsu titles. Also considers herself a ground and pound specialist. Loves to finish the fight from that top position. Loves to get that. Get that oh. position. Beat down their opponents to get the finish. Job of staying hot, heavy on the top position here. That's cool. Bending the takedown here, threatening the neck also. There's an opportunity to serve the back. She's got to clear the arm, however, she's looking for the back. So she's got the under to make the back take. She's not going to do that. So all of her victories are by finish. Yesterday she won a ground and pound finish. Today, the previous one, she had one triangle choke, two TKOs to punches. Solid, solid top pressure from this Polish fighter. Melina Agasheva from Russia, though. Very well versed. Huge amount of talent that she trains with. Sarah, so strong on top team. Really very, very impressed. Just her pressure and control, looking to pass those legs through now. And she does. Now getting into this beat down position. She loves to work from there. See so she snaps the arm with that leg. She has the underhooks controlling the, the hips and the leg here. She might want to go to the mount. See this top pressure though. See, Lina Shaver trying to control that other hand, but had to let that grip go. Sarah with two wins. Two punches from the TKO record. This is what she says she's best at, ground and pound. And look at this, Dean. The referee is watching. Okay, Here we have a fist. Is there any escape for Aga Shaver? Just the bucket and free that right arm here. Start to turn into a point for half guard. Shots, Dean. Yeah, seconds to work here, Brian. Big punches from the top position now. I love the way she's using the side of the pad in there with these gloves. Except that position, trying to escape in the watch. Young plus close, but she's got the buck. Look for the half guards with the sweeps. It's Elena and Shaver. Elena in the blue corner, Sarah in the red. Russia versus Poland, respectively. Just wants this quick spot from Sarah Strong. She was to me. Nice knees, Dean. Side. Nice ball. Again, Alina gives up this top position. This is where she has to be responsible. She has to get the underhook on the left side. She can't afford to allow her opponent to flatten her out. And this is interesting, Dean, because when she passed to the other side to crucifix Sarah on top, that was her left hand for the ground and pound. Now she crosses on the other side. That would be the right hand, her power hand for this uh, the same position. Should she be able to pass that guard as she's trying to do so right now? Notice now she immediately takes less damage. She's got to stand up here. She can't afford to let Sarah pass those legs. Yeah, Sarah. Spinning around manages to do that, but still back into half guard. Sarah looking for the under from that left arm of Alina. Maybe to set up that head and arm from this position. She used that to start to pass that right leg out for half guard now. She might look to push off and use the instep and circle round. Hip to hip pressure now. She's got the underhook again, looking for the crucifix. Oh my 
Philippines, one minute, 13 seconds, Dean. Oh, she's got a lot of time to work. Powerful punches from the top here. Sarah from Poland, the ground and pound specialist, looking to finish this fight in the second round. She couldn't quite do it in the first, Dean. Maybe looking to try and pass now. Melina did a better job though, yeah, she's bumping, she's moving, she's circling, and immediately you can see less punches being thrown down from Sarah. She's got re-established the position to land these strikes. Now I'm seeing that north-south position. Open up shot submissions from here. Heavy, heavy base, look at this. Maybe look to twist that arm round. Elena aware of that. And here's where, if elbows were allowed, the oh, Kimura attempt. Oh, she's going to look to put the back of the hand to the back of the head. That's where you see Elena trying to secure that arm underneath her leg. She's done very that well, that Elena, but... And she's allowed to grab her own equipment, her own shorts. And, oh, and she survives. Did a good job of firing the elbow to the mat. You always want to try and be flat with Kimura and, and stop yourself being on the side. Once again, you see in this top position, a real dominant from Poland. Dominating rounds one, rounds two, Elena Yashiva from Russia. Still in this fight, though. Oh, but that's one thing you did not want to happen with less than 10 seconds. Elena now chasing the leg lock. Oh, maybe the straight, straight foot lock, yeah. Outside Ashley here, lots of talk. You can see Sarah trying to pass the leg over, circle out of this position. What Elena needs is control over that limb. She needs control and weight to get that leverage. Oh, look at that patience. Oh, this might be worse for the potential biceps slice and the crucifix as well. When Elena's arms trapped like that, it's trapped oh, worse. You see her, yes, her right arms poke through, there's no escape from here. All that weight through the hips of Sarah now. Oh, did a brilliant job of escaping. That was a more precarious position than she's been in than throughout this fight. Yeah, that calf coming across in between the, the fulcrum of the joint, that's where it can separate if you put some pressure on that. Elena, very, very aware, pulled it out. She's starting to deal with Sara in this top position again and again, she's able to get here. It's very strange when you hear her. The fighter say I'm a ground and pound specialist, it's a, it's a mission specialist, knockout specialist, but this young lady truly knows how to get a position where she can just beat down her opponents. And here she goes again, more time to work. Let's see if she looks to either get that crucifix again, either maybe work that round for the Kimura now she's away from the cage. The key here as well, me, is the old saying position before submission, in this case, position before grabbing the pound. Yeah. She does a brilliant job of circling around the side control. She doesn't get it, she clears the legs, goes to north south, then works her yeah. way straight back, straight arm bar here, yeah. going from the Americana. She'll switch back to the Americana and the armbar. The Kimura is, is, is available there as they turn their arm down to their hip. Watch this, the Sarah starts to pummel her right arm in for that other hip. Oh, Elena, trying with somewhere to see nice that. switch from Elena. She's left her neck in trouble. Good work there from Sarah from Poland. Stepping into full mount now, Dean. Full mount, 55 seconds. Head and arm from bottom. It'll be very difficult to finish this. So she's just trying to break the posture here. The second Sara gets up, mount is very dangerous now. More dangerous than the side control. She's got both arms to strike. Have the fist now, straight down the pipe. Russell is looking in closely. That's uh, 35 seconds. Can she get the finish? Lena's going to turn, she potentially might give up her back here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My goodness, she has come under heavy, heavy fire. Half guard here from Elena, smart play, pushing the uh, knee down there and circling the leg to try and reap that leg across. She's got to try and turn into her opponent now, push that leg through her legs and trying to hold the half guard. Oh, Sara very high on the mount now. These are big shots, final seconds. Wow, what?